What is good, folks? It's All Things Country here. Been a terrible weekend here. Pouring rain. We didn't get out prospecting. But what we're going to do today is something a little bit different. I've had a few questions about what my panning setup looks like. I'm going to run you guys through that. And I'm going to give you a re really quick tour. And then we're going to mine this very basement looking for gold. Anything I might have dropped. I just know there's going to be some somewhere. We'll check it out. We'll give the place a good cleaning since we're here. Cheers. Let's start the show. Alright folks, so here's my PC setup. This is where I do all of my editing for my videos and where I like to chill out and watch other creators videos. And uh, we're going to be doing some gaming here actually on the channel. We're going to be gaming uh, Gold Rush. So we're going to play some Gold Rush the video game down the road soon. And uh, hopefully you guys can join me and hang out and uh, shoot the breeze a little bit. But there's a reason why I keep this separate from my uh, laptop, my other PC, and I'll show you that in a second. Alright guys, so there's the laptop setup. This is my second PC and this is why I keep it separate. Because you can see up here is my webcam pointing downwards. This is my panning station. This is where I pan for all my gold. And uh, I use the laptop to capture from the overhead camera. And I'll uh, hang out on that laptop once in a while too. Just some stuff I like to have around. I got my flower cold wizard's pan full of goodies. This is my UV flashlight for my awesome awesome youper lights we got bruce over here channel mascot hanging out and that is my awesome gem jar here we got a couple of a uh, couple of vials full of garnets and one f also full of small youper lights and this is the current gold vial that i'm working on these are two ounce vials so we're getting there and i like to keep a couple of my nuggets uh, just handy because they're just nice to look at uh, the rest of my stuff's upstairs in the safe but other than that, yeah, there's my All Things Country uh, mat that keeps my desk from getting soaking wet. And today, that's a big part of what we're going to clean out. But before we get there, I'll show you my uh, gold equipment cabinet, and then we're going to do some cleanup. All right, and here's the cabinet where I keep all my gold equipment. You can see we've got Dirt Russell down there on the bottle, bottom hanging out. we got Happy Fillmore in the back holding all my tools. And yeah, this is where I keep everything, piles and piles of pans and classifiers. I uh, like to have all this handy, and I don't like to keep it in a pack. And the reason I don't like it to, to keep it in a pack is because I like to pack my pack according to what I'm bringing with me and what I need. That way I can reduce my weight. But we'll have a quick look, look around. I've already kind of pulled my panning station out of the way. But that rug, I guarantee you, is holding some gold. We're going to sweep, sweep up all the floor around the panning station as well as that rug. And then I had showed you guys my uh, ATC mat, which is right here. I guarantee you that's going to have some gold on it and around the edges as well. So without further ado, let's fire up the Dyson and get to business. Seconds. Well, all right, guys. We got everything back into place, and the vacuum is emptied. I do not know where all this hair comes from, but it is definitely gross. All right, guys, so here we are. We've got our uh, water. I've already added some jet dry, and we've got our pan of scunge. Let's see how this turns out. 
I already saw some gold. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> gross. I already saw some gold in there. Luckily, there's not too much material. Just some of Rigby's hairs and whatever else was on the floor. Little bits of cardboard. Let's, uh, well, there's some gold there. Let's get rid of this junk first. <laughs> Man, if I had to do this in nature, I wouldn't be a prospect. <laughs> I think that was a dead ladybug, folks. <laughs> oh, gross. All right. Luckily, there's no, not too many heavies. Not too much black sand in the basement, that's for sure. Lots of stratifying involved. Holy cow. There we go. And we had a nice golden smile there. Almost trepidatious to put my uh, <laughs> put my hand in the water here. There we go. Lots of fine gold as I expected, but all right. Well, let's get that dried out without uh, using the air gun, and uh, we'll get a weight on it. See if we can even move the scale with my basement findings here. So there you have it, folks. After all that work and panning that scunge, we got 0 0.08 grams. All right, gang. Well, there you have it. We persevered. We got through all that muck and grime and dog hair, and we found that extra gold that we dropped on the floor. Definitely worth doing once in a while just for the heck of it. Uh, it really wasn't all that bad. Most of the yucky stuff floated off, but uh, like I said, not my kind of prospecting. But hey, it's done. We got it. It's going into the vial, and that's where it belongs. So cheers. Really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for taking the tour with me, and we'll catch you on our next adventure.